in any of his YouTube no. material. So. Ah, uh, hello oh. there, gentlemen. Hello. Sorry, it took a moment. How you doing, man? Uh, I'm doing good. How are you guys doing? I'm doing excellent, actually. Okay, what? let me just adjust that. There we go. Okay. What What are your thoughts? Are you wearing your suit now? Are you, you said you, you. I I am suitless. I you know, when you lead the Lost Boys on Pleasure Island, uh, occasionally when you're running around the woods with all those kids, you you get shit torn up. And wearing a nice Armani suit out there, you get all dirty. Doesn't make a lot of practical sense. So I'm mostly just very relaxed jeans and a t-shirt, just kind of roughing it. That's that's how we do it on Pleasure Island. What? What do you think? Okay, so there's a couple theories that we've we bantied about here. By the way, Zidane said my volume's really loud on Hangouts. I don't know how to to adjust that. Sorry, right. so. I adjusted it myself. It's okay. Yeah, so okay. so did I. You're fine. Okay. All right. Thank you. Um, what do you think possessed him to send that out? Do you think it was just V doing that on a whim, or do you think that came from the soy father himself to to send that? Well, to no, him? I thought V was just shit. I thought that was like a joke. Like he sent those those uh, screen caps. I thought he was joking. Like he edited them for a joke. Uh, so I threw him in like a uh, a little video montage that I thought suited it, uh, but no, he was like, no, no, that's real. And then pictures of Sargon in his amazing Applebee's outfit started popping up, and so I was like, oh, he was he was telling the truth. I have that video montage, by the way. I'm gonna play. It's only nine seconds long. Let me go ahead and hit it right now. Hold on, let me make it bigger. I am a division manager. That is very important. Do not raise very your voice important. at me or You at don't Garrett. talk Do to me like me that. Ted? People Do are you... scared of me. People are scared of him. He's literally dealing with pan-European politics, Jim. I, I drive a Stratus. You will fucking respect <laughs> me. <laughs> yeah, right? I don't know what his deal is. It's such a weird thing. Like, this is his big day, right? This is the day that he's going to go play politics. And the first thing he does when he wakes up is tell his little gypsy carrier pigeon <laughs> to inform me that he has a big boy suit. I've never had anybody. I've never. Had, that's such a little kid thing to say. It's kind of adorable. You know, it's like one of those milestones in life where you brag about it a little bit because it happens to you, but you don't realize everybody else has done that. It's like, oh, I got my driver's license. Well, congratulations, everybody who's 16 does. But I'm proud of you, champ. So he's so he was so happy about it. Like. I have a big boy suit, and I'm going to wear my big boy suit to my big boy event. And what this is no, a big day, too. That's what I... Why yeah, yeah. Know? It's it's pan-European uh, pan uh, political summit? I, I don't know. I mean, hey, you know, don't feel too bad. It's only one continent. I mean, Anita and Zoe did get the whole fucking world, oh. but one day, champ, you'll get up on their level. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> Maybe you'll need three more political parties you have to jump onto <laughs> before you reach that. Uh, but you know, best of luck. Wore a better fitting suit once than he did. Oh, did you I, see I, the, I, the actual cut of the suit? <laughs> How fitting it is! Like it's a joke. I, don't know. I I don't I don't know. It was so. It but it really was just. It's a very weird. It's a very weird message. It's it's just a really bizarre thing. Like I just woke up this morning, and Jim needs to know I don't fucking care. And on top of that, I got a suit. Enough, <laughs> excuse me. I've got to go to a press conference. Dude, he's in love with you. I I don't know what it is. No, I'm it's, serious. Uh, it, it's, you know, I only said, I think I mentioned him three times at most, and that was, like, in uh, answer to something somebody had said in chat. And I brought up that, um, you know, Shoe on Head should really be considered the alpha skeptic because she's batting, like, over a million right now. Like, her numbers are fucking crazy. All her videos, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of thousands of views, shit ton of likes, everything she puts out, massive audience. Like, if somebody's going to be the alpha skeptic, it's fucking chew on head. Maybe he needs to bend the knee a little bit on that. And then the other two things I think I mentioned were uh, him leaving the liberalists to go join UKIP and uh, tranny porn. <laughs> so yeah, maybe, maybe, that, tranny maybe, that, yes. <laughs> maybe that did it. I don't know. It's just, it's just kind of out of step. I don't, I don't understand. This is his big thing. Now, a, a couple people messaged me you know, kind of in his orbit and said that V kind of turned it into a joke and they were putting the blame on V. But I, I don't think V would have sent that out without the go-ahead from, from Sargon, right? I mean, at least I'm, I would I would think that. I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't know. I didn't really give it much attention. I was more busy um, dealing with... It's weird. I, I've noticed anytime I make fun of skeptics 
or anytime I make fun of the gay Discord ops, it's the same group of like 20 people that show up every single time from both groups, right? Um, like Louis Laval was just constantly going on with his passive aggressive tweets, uh, whining uh, about shit. Um, you had Kraut whining about shit. You had Shit Rat whining about shit. And they just, they always come out. It's always the same fucking group of clowns. I'm sure one species uh, will eventually show up and make an ass of himself like he does on a usual basis. But the reaction I've been getting, I'm going to start doing, I think, maybe a fucking weekly shit on skeptic stream because it seems to it seems to work pretty fucking well. I They, they kind of went into a fucking tizzy uh, the day after. I, they're really mad about the Matt stuff. Uh, really mad about about everything on that stream. And I saw, you know, what's his name? Tizzy. Speaking of Tizzy's, uh, after after your stream last night, he went back and quote, you you know, you, you screenshotted it on, uh, well, somebody screenshotted it on Twitter. And, uh, you know, it, it, they, they hadn't even really paid that much attention to it until you spotlighted it last night. And now they're trying to, to go at him. Like, it clearly, I... I Oh, no, yeah, I love how they all said, like, uh, Shit Rat and the others were like, oh, it's a conspiracy theory. But it, it only became a conspiracy theory when I pointed out that they were getting upset about it. So if it if it's such a baseless claim, why are they all directly responding to Nick? Why are they all screaming at Wizard of Cause? Why did every single Discord and YouTube academic yell at him in that fucking tweet chain? Why did they all take pot shots at him, right? He, he basically laid out what he had to say, and every single one of them went and yelled at him. Waz Lee, I think, yelled at him. One Species yelled at him. David Shitrat yelled at him. Dizzy yelled at him. Kraut yelled at him. So he must be on to something. If, if the shit that he brought up got that much of a reaction, there must be something there. And if it's not Lauren Southern, there's some female involved. And David Shitrat is at the fucking heart of it. And I'm amazed that Kraut uh, is still associating with people that basically view him like the village idiot. Like, he's the retarded younger brother, and they just, they use him to accomplish their shenanigans. Maybe he's unaware of that. I don't know. Yeah, and I've heard, I've heard a few things, too, that, that they don't, look, him and Kraut, that, that's kind of a uh, a marriage of convenience, I guess you would say. They don't, they don't really like each other in the first place. But uh, speaking of shit, Rat. Uh, well, okay, I mean, have, have you noticed, I, I, it, there's weird parallels, right? I mean, you kind of cut off the clip when I was talking about it, but... When the whole rage thing began, right, a lot of people had the theory that the reason that the skeptics, right, and there was the skeptics initially started going after rage was because some black guy liked her and she wasn't interested. And now we find out that maybe Shit Rat uh, started all of this because he liked some girl and she wasn't interested. What is this virgin with rage mentality that's rife in this fucking community? Why is every single one of them seem to have some weird fucking hang up with chicks? Right? Like, am I the only one noticing that? And what would make him ever think that he could get with Lauren Southern in the first place? Uh, I don't. That, that seems to be aiming very hard. Those, those, those wheat fields, those wheat fields belong to Dr. Murdoch. You stay the fuck away. Okay. I don't know. It just, it just seems to be, uh, seems to be an overshot. I, I guess I could say, speaking of shit, rat. What about the 10 grand? Uh, I saw you mentioned that on Twitter today. You he never addresses it. it. He will never address it. Uh, what about the other thing? Wasn't Harambe Dessert the same woman involved in Kilroy involved in his fundraiser? I believe so, yes. So the woman that basically was involved in two scams is a bridge between the shit rat uh, gay ops discord and the skeptic community. And both of those scams involve money and fleecing the same uh, two different fucking communities. Huh, really makes you think, doesn't it? And he absolutely will not address it. It doesn't matter how, you know, what. He he just says nothing about it. I've tagged him in tweets about it myself, and he just won't address it. He just ignores it, acts like it never happened. This was a fundraiser that was promoted by Breitbart, that was promoted by some pretty big outlets. It was all over Twitter. Please save, please save this poor atheist Arab. You know, she's in Qatar, whatever. We got to get her out of there. It was promoted all over the place, and they, they raised a good bit of money. I, I see a lot of people in your chat. Their acorns have been activated. Don't worry. <laughs> We're going to get to the bottom of this on that weekly fucking stream digging through all their shit. Because I had a lot of fun uh, watching insane videos from these people. And I think if I start to look around, we're going to find a lot more crazy shit just waiting below the surface to be looked at. You know, maybe it's time. Maybe it's time just to take a deep fucking dive 
and to that side of YouTube. Maybe I'm going to just walk away for a while from the crazy SJW blue hairs and turn my attention in a different direction. I think it's Tom, and I think a lot of people want that to happen too. Um, now we saw last night. You, you talked about Monday, Matt. You played the exact video that I knew you were going to play because we we actually screened that one night on here, and it's just a bizarre. Um, now some people think that uh, that that chick has been located, uh, and that Sonya. Uh, something I forget her. Oh yeah, no, I saw that. Yeah, uh, there was a follow up on uh, Kiwi Farms about that, where somebody was telling people they're fucking retarded because it's not this that particular Sonia isn't even isn't even in the geographical area that Matt would have been. Um, yeah. But apparently, they closed the comments down because people kept <laughs> asking them about a Boulder rapist, and they had no <laughs> idea what the fuck people were talking yeah. about. I saw the comments, man. It was like one comment maybe was left before you. you your stream and afterwards it was like a hundred just all the same but is that are they saying that's not the, even the church because i saw some people seem to have located the the church and it looked like the same one that he had shown in the thumbnail i wonder if if we well, can't yeah, actually I, find I, that I, person I noticed, we could at least get somebody from the church yeah i know well i mean kind of as an aside i noticed a lot of them got really mad that i watched that video and commented on it but what is my walk away supposed to be like i'm listening to a dude right uh, tell a story about how he got excommunicated from a fucking church because was it the pastor's daughter accused him of trying to rape her at knife point and assaulting her brothers and drunkenly calling um the father at two in the fucking morning yeah, and i'm supposed was... to be like oh no they made it up the church made all that shit up matt's story about them uh him saying no no i don't want to fuck this cute girl no i have principles that's why he got thrown out of the fucking congregation Let's see, which is more realistic, stalking the shit out of some chick with a fucking bladed weapon or refusing to fuck a girl when you're a 15 year old boy? Huh? You know, it's a it's, it's a tough call. <laughs> well, he made some pretty serious allegations, right? It's only right that the, the other side gets to respond. I mean, that that's my view. Like, a, oh, um, wait, do you know how fucked he is? If this if somebody finds this chick and she corroborates that story. If it's some fucking church going pastor's daughter and she's like, who the fuck is mundane Matt? Oh, the guy with the knife. Do you know how fucked Matt is? <laughs> like that is that is career ending. Now I also saw that apparently he's been deleting videos off his YouTube since then. I guess it went down by two or three hundred. I don't know if he's going through and trying to trying to clear well, up. Somebody somebody said they found Facebook posts or something of Matt's where oh, he yeah. talked about getting drunk before going to church when he was a kid, <laughs> which kind of which correlates to him calling, which correlates to him drunkenly calling at two in the morning and fucking with the father. And even in that video, he was like, he couldn't keep his story straight. At first, he said, yeah, I called and I. I said something and hung up, and then my friend called back. And then immediately after that, he said, it wasn't me. I didn't do anything. It was my friends that called. He's clearly involved with it. Uh, Again, why would you even tell that story? <laughs> yeah, that's it, it, this is the problem with these, these skeptics and all these people. They tell stories that they really shouldn't tell. Bunty King's cuck story. Tell that story. Monday, Matt, I held a fucking knife to a girl. <laughs> Yo, who, volunteers, <laughs> you know what? who volunteers the story of that allegation? Like, yeah, this chick, this 13-year-old church-going chick, uh, he made up this total bullshit story about me holding her at knife point for kisses and then uh, <laughs> beating your brothers over the head with fucking chairs. <laughs> <laughs> like, he volunteered that story and was like, oh, this is a great story. Let me let me tell you this. Oh, my God, guys, they're going to love this. This is going to go viral. I'm going to be at the top of the fucking food chain. Look out, Mr. Repsion. There's a new big boy in town, and he's going to buy a fucking suit from the ad revenue. Oh yeah, here here goes the oh wow. SoCal Chris just sent me uh something. Let me let me pull this up on stream here. This is Monday Matt. Uh I guess this is Facebook. When I was fifteen, I used to get drunk before going to church. Seriously, not gonna lie, it made the sermon way more entertaining. Oh, okay, okay. I want you in your mind. Let's say that her her allegation is correct. And now we know he is drunk when he shows up. So I want you to picture a fat fifteen year old Matt. <laughs> drunk off his ass off tequila with a fucking switchblade in his hand holding this chick up against the wall saying you better fucking kiss me like try to visualize what that would be like the fucking sheer terror of that moment is this fat boulder shaped little boy has a fucking switchblade against your knife reeks of tequila uh, I mean here he is admitting it I don't know I, then, 
again, he's drunk at night with his friends, calling up the dad, like, hey, it's Sony up. <laughs> hey, remember me? I pulled a knife on your daughter. Get her on the phone. <laughs> And again, he, he completely volunteered all this on his own. It wasn't, he didn't really have to dig it up. I mean, he put this video out there. Like, I, this doesn't, doesn't seem that bright. Uh, speaking of not that bright, Bunty King responded to your... He, uh, uh, he looked a little fucked up today. He looked a little sleep deprived. His eyes were a little shot. His hair's a little fucky. He, he looked like he had a rough night. And, uh, you know, he, he responded, he put out the video... And then uh, somebody said, Jim watched and commented the whole video pointing out the behavior from you. But okay, tell everyone and let them believe that this is cherry picked. Then he says, not talking about Jim, LOL. Did I quote tweet to him? Uh, oh, uh, and- no, I, the, my favorite response. <laughs> you know what? I'm, I, I can already guess from the giggle. You know what? There's somebody had the best fucking line in response yes. to him talking about cherry picking. Let me, let me pull this up. Um, hold on. I'm sorry. One second. Uh, uh, Bunty had said, Bunty had said, Oh yeah, go ahead and pull it. <laughs> but he had yeah, said to uh, to people, uh, "Got to get those cherries. Got to get those cocks squirting." And then uh, Lucy responds, "Your ex sure got those cocks squirting." <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, holy shit! That is fucking devastating, Bunty. Ooh. People Man, have been taking shit. shots all day, all day. <laughs> he made the video. Like, who does this? Like, why would you come out and then post this video? What he did was he, then he. Disable oh, the comments. Oh, fuck. That's, that's what I wanted to talk about. Have you heard mm-hmm. the speculation on who the chick is? I know that people uh, were saying Peach, uh, hey, yes. Peach uh, Leva? Yeah. Uh, okay. Yes. Uh, I heard a different story, and Ooh. it lines up with VidCon. Who was the chick that was known to have fucked another guy at VidCon and was crazy? Huh? Crazy and people hair? didn't like Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. Seriously. People are saying, it, it, people are speculating that this was crazy hair. He got cucked by her of all people? Because apparently, didn't she fuck Vernaculus when she got there? Yeah, and she pointed the camera at the bed. Yeah. Hmm. yeah I don't so, know. There, there's so many levels of lore. There's so much exploration to do on these stories. <laughs> yeah, you a know? lot of people were saying Peach the Lava at first, and uh, I, I, I don't really think it's her. She's out of his league, let's be honest. Yeah, yeah I don't, I don't um, think it's her. You know who else has a good picture with crazy hair? Fucking Sargon. That's right, yes. Sargon was alleged to have uh, railed her as well. Did he wear a suit? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure he was he was wearing Jamal's suit while while he did it. Uh, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, my my take on that video uh, with with Bunty King was it, it's just it's weird to put that out there. Um, it's weird to share that story and. It's just bizarre that you'd let a chick cheat on you and then want to make her your queen, right? You've got to have a little bit more self-respect uh, <laughs> and basically throw her whore ass to the curb and uh, move the fuck on with your life. Well, see, that's the thing that gets me. Okay, so look, if you got cheated on, all right, that's fine. E- even if you made a video on it, I wouldn't do that. I think that that's, you know, stupid. Uh, don't put that out there. But you know what? You made a video. Some whore cheated on me. I kicked her to the curb. Fuck that bitch. But in the video, he specifically says, I'd still take her back and I uh, want her back and I want to make her my queen. Please get rid of this guy. Uh, I had people tag, you know, not very many, but a couple of people like, well, Ralph, you never been in a, an emotional state and da, 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 da. you never had anything bad happen to you. Well, yeah, I have. Uh, not like that. But e- even if that had happened, I'm not going to make a fucking video about it and put it out there. It's just... I don't even understand the mindset. Maybe, maybe yeah, YouTube yeah, you know, yeah. So and again, in certain ways, but yeah, and again with the timing, right? Wasn't that VidCon where all this shit happened? That was 2016, right? And Bunty's video was a year and a half, two years ago. Yeah, yeah, it you was. Know, uh, it, it lines up, doesn't it? Yeah, it was what 2017, I think. Early. And didn't didn't she say that she was there with someone? Didn't she say, "Oh, I was brought here with some," but somebody, one of the skeptics, brought me. But yeah. she never really uh, elaborated on who. Yep. By the way, here's I, a, I don't know. We got some. There's some. There's some. There's some uh, skeletons in these <laughs> closets that need to be uncovered, and uh, you're gonna have to tune in next week to find out more. I suppose. There's a uh, photo on screen with uh, with Sargon and uh, and crazy hair there. Oh. I'm just trying to imagine him dressed like a valet, just slamming the shit out of her from behind, <laughs> talking about this is how we save the West, <laughs> slapping her ass. You know what I mean? Like. 
<laughs> have you even read Locke, you filthy whore? And just fucking rail her. Suit. Uh, in his ill-fitting suit. Um, what Gator's not here? What, what did Gator did the did the hurricane kill Gator yet? Or is that is that what happens? Dan? No, he went to go get something some stuff before the hurricane. Oh, as we said, um, but yeah, you saw the pictures of the suit, correct, Jim? Yeah, yeah. No, I mean people were people were sending me stuff all day uh, on that after I was laughing at the suit thing. I mean people were even sending me like old, uh, well not old, but when my my channel and everything got taken down, apparently Sargon was uh, favoriting comments. And one of them, I swear to God, was like, uh, liberalists don't look so bad now, do they, Jim? I wish I had seen that earlier, because I'd be like, well, apparently they do, because everybody left for you, Kip, didn't they? Yeah, what, what a great uh, political operation. He doesn't really talk that much about liberalists anymore, does he? I don't know. I don't know. I, I mean, uh, I wish them the best of luck. <laughs> I, know they're, I know they're looking, I guess, for new leadership. Who knows? <laughs> Yeah, I think there was a post on his Facebook where he said that he's leaving most liberalist groups and he's only going to do like one or two things with them nowadays. But see, that's so weird to me because he started it, right? Yeah. And he ended it. Or it wasn't his complaint when I was on stream on Lou Laval's channel that, uh, Jim, you were supposed to be the leader of Gamergate, but you abandoned it. Uh, Why? Well, you know, it, like it was not supposed to have an assigned leader, but he kind of declared himself leader of the liberalists. So. I hope he isn't leaving the liberalists because that's going to be a really bad look. That's what he said. The the whole leader thing, and I see that constantly, you know, specifically with you. It's like, well, Jim, why didn't you lead us? What why didn't you do that? And, and you, you've never really tried to be that person. I think we talked about this before, but... Well, oh, these people are so up their own ass. Like, I just, I don't have time for this. We're so serious shit. Like, you know, it just, fuck off. It's so boring. It's so fucking boring. You know what's entertaining, though? What? Hearing more knife point stories <laughs> or cucking stories. We're going to focus on those kind of things. Just start <laughs> digging through. Maybe talk about Facebook trannies. I don't know. Just throwing out an example. Not anything specific, but we'll, we'll take a look at massage parlors. Maybe we'll talk about massage parlors oh. in search results. I don't know, but it oh, could be something we can throw well. up. <laughs> there's this, speaking of skeptics, there's this thing called... Uh, trans vegetation or whatever and they're the group of people and they were making videos on shoe on head and how she's a tranny they make some compelling points by the way i saw that i don't think shoe on head's actually a tranny though even though i've talked uh, a lot of shit about her well, yeah, think... yeah and i brought this up on stream yesterday too i mean kind of when you think of that group like the skeptic group that sphere of youtube i have noticed that like her and uh it's greg right armored skeptic like yeah. her 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 and greg have kind of like they they stay away from it right i mean they're kind of mostly cocooned and doing their own shit and again, that's because like she's the alpha dog. She can do whatever the fuck she wants with her million subs. So again, maybe maybe he needs to bend the knee and recognize who's an authority here. It's the it's a big channel. It's a million plus one. Yeah, I, I've noticed that, and I also noticed that a lot of these people will try to kind of defend Matt. You know, when the stuff happened, they they all did. They all ran yeah. in uh, to defend Matt. They're all trying to run in to defend Kraut. I, I don't know if it's like an image thing with them, if they think that like, oh, if these people look bad, we're going to look bad by association, but you're the one choosing to associate with them, right? So if you weren't doing it in the first place, nobody would be drawn to, you know, drawn to that conclusion. Um, I, I don't fucking know. I mean, what, what do we have so far in the skeptic sphere? We've got Kraut running gay discord ops. We've got Matt flagging people down because his feelings get hurt. And we got Bunty getting cucked. Like, it's uh, just story after story. And Jeff Holiday getting cucked? Oh, that's right. It, yeah, it's uh, like a polyamorous <laughs> relationship or some shit. I don't fucking know. Where his wife yeah. says she's gay, basically, and that she, she likes women more than men, and she, she, she cucks him with women. Yeah. No, I missed that. Okay, that I missed. Yeah. His wife came out and said it, that she gets stuff from women that he can't provide. Yeah. Oof. Yeah. His own wife said that, yeah. So uh, uh, there's a lot here. <laughs> so that's what I'm getting at. Uh, she said, uh, and I quote, that she's the big gay. Yeah, his wife well, said she's gay. Yeah, yeah I, I don't know what these these guys, man. I don't I don't know what to tell you with these fucking people. <laughs> I don't I don't fucking know. And V is playing fucking 
furry anime games about boar. I don't know what the fuck is going on with the skeptics, Ralph. Like, what the <laughs> fuck is going on with these people? <laughs> and they put it all out voluntarily. It's not like it's drug out of them. You know, people are just battering them every day. They they put all this out on their own. Like, it's it's not even... You know, it's it's not even a dig. They 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 put it out themselves. That Anne just like me. Oh, sorry. I'm not I'm not authorized to see that status. I have to I'd have to log out. But I'll go ahead and read the tweet. It can cure the gay. <laughs> <laughs> Here is a uh, memory holiday. Who, by the way, I speculated that she used to be a whore, like an actual whore, because she talked about you know she was. Uh, like a hitchhiker, and she she had all this, you know. She traveled the country and lived in these parking lots, and I have no opinion on Memory Holiday. I I'm content with just making fun of the skeptics. I I'm well, not I interested in, they went, in their they families. Went, they went out. Well, I mean, she's a public figure. She has her own channel and stuff. I I, I don't feel that bad about it. But I I, th- I think she actually was a hooker. I mean, that, that's my that's my own personal view. But let let me read the uh, let me read the tweet. Uh, I don't like the term poly, but for most it works. I say we're monogamously open because I hate surprises. So I just want a heads up first. Also, I'm bi- bisexual, but mostly gay. Like, big I'm a gay. Cop. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a fucking cop, guys. Like, big gay. I crave female companionship, but it's not something he can provide for me. He's Oof. speaking about Jeff all day. That's, you know? uh, well. You know, <laughs> maybe I'm just old fashioned. Maybe that's the boomer in me, but I don't uh, stay in a committed relationship where my partner is fucking someone else. <laughs> I know that's just archaic in this wonderful day and age of fucking iPhones and uh, uh, Nintendo Switches, but I like the idea that the vagina that I'm interacting with hasn't been pilfered by somebody else. Yeah, it's, it's controversial. Thought. Do you think she even lets Jeff watch or he's got to be in a different room? I, uh, I, <laughs> it's like, it's like sensory overload right now. Okay. I've got all these like caricatures of these people in my fucking head at the moment. And it's hard to sort through. Um, I, I don't know. I just, people have been sending me a lot of weird shit. Somebody sent me stuff about, um, saying that, uh, short fat otaku was LARPing as a female during Gamergate pretending to be camera lady. Yeah. No. Mute autistic lesbian. <laughs> You know, I I don't know, man. It's just there. This feels like there's so much here that I think it's time to take a look. All right, a Gator, you're here. Are you? Here? I am. Okay. Can we? By the way, I know Jim's been very generous. Uh, do you mind taking like I don't know, 15 minutes worth of calls or? Absolutely. Yeah. Let me finish setting up. That's what no, I'm mean, doing I'm, right I'm, now. I'm asking Jim. Jim, do you mind taking a few calls or? Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't care. I'm, I'm having a good time. Uh, I'm having a good time. I'm gonna be having a good time for the next couple of weeks. So, <laughs> fun. All right, so Gator, l- just let me know when you, when you have that set up, and I'll, I'll do that. Uh, let's see. Uh, what else do we have here? Let me look through. While you look through, I was just gonna say, you know who else uh, these skeptics are going after, right? Dick Masterson. He's like. Why is this Jeff Holiday dude fucking hate me? And I don't even know who this dude is. Like all of them are going I, I, after him All too. I've noticed is people on the outside of this particular part of YouTube looking at it uh, when stuff comes up and laughing at it. Dick Masterson laughs at them. I've seen Keemstar laughing at them quite a bit. Um, I, I saw a, like a bunch of big gaming channels talking about Matt laughing about it and how fucking pathetic it was. So it's not like it's not a lot of good image crafting going on right now. Um, the amount of videos, by the way, I, I don't, I guess you probably saw this, but, but Matt changed the, uh, the link to his YouTube and his Twitter and he links to his three, three book theater or whatever the fuck it's called now, instead of his, instead of his main channel. I don't think he's put out a video on his main channel in like three or four days now. It's been like, yeah, it's been like four or five days of yeah. uh, no videos. Cause you know what? You want to have a good laugh before you take some calls? Why don't we, instead of watching Monday and Matt videos, I almost did this on my stream. <laughs> why don't we go look at his videos, his most recent videos, and just read the comments and see what the reaction is from his fan base, just on average, when people are commenting on a Monday and Matt video. By the way, I do, I do see one video that he uploaded one hour ago, but that was, that was, there was a five day span in between videos and it's about, uh, it's about Siri and Battlefront. Let's, let's go read the comments. I'm sure people are thrilled to hear his fucking opinion on Siri. 
All right, let's see. Let's see. We'll see what the comments bring us. Now, of course, it's it's the Monday Matt show now, Jim. And he's he's not on camera anymore. That this is all you know clips from his podcast that I don't know where anyone can well, find. Well, pe because but. people kept saying, Matt, you look like you're going to throw yourself off a bridge. So <laughs> after saying that for like a week and a half, he finally stopped going on camera. <laughs> All right, here's a few comments. The first one says, now wait a minute. Uh, go eat oranges. You, your citrus-based deficiencies put us all at risk. Uh, I see. It looks like he's deleting a few. What, why don't we go to uh, the, A few? The Is he deleting a few? <laughs> Just yes. <a> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Let's go to the one before that, which uh, I already actually looked at the comments on this one. They're pretty funny. Esports won't be allowed at the Olympics for dumb reasons. Can you imagine why esports wouldn't be allowed at the Olympics? I mean, come on. I can't think of a single reason. It's such a calm, <laughs> such a calm hobby. What, what possibly could uh, could the Olympics be worried about with esports? Uh, yeah, it's definitely an Olympic Olympic sport. Uh, the first comment, the number one comment, says the bouldering won't be allowed anywhere. It's off to a rocky start. Uh, the next one from Justin Brasero says, man, dude, you get so many dislikes. The algorithm doesn't even recognize your videos anymore. When you type your name into the search bar, you get more hate videos than videos that you produce yourself. Uh, the next comment, your noodly master says, no esports in the Olympics until bouldering is in the Olympics. Right, Matt? <laughs> <laughs> the next comment says, stop doing YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, uh, okay, let me. Here goes another one. Yancey Sear Jones says, "We are your bad phantoms, haunting your conscience, haunting your conscience, laden with misdeeds. You may pretend to ignore us, censor our words, block us, rig your way into buying yourself an honest reputation. Your shameful acts and Hippocratic stances remain fresh in collective memory. Repent." You awesome. know, uh, I, I wasn't there a rumor going around that he was uh, filtering out or blocking certain words that you couldn't use in the comment section yeah so when you see boulder they, they'll usually put a zero or like a period or somewhere in there because he he's apparently blocked the word boulder so he's blocking the word boulder he's deleting comments he's favoriting any comment of anybody that says anything remotely neutral what's the rating on this video could you scroll up and tell us the dislike um, like ratio yeah so it has a full 166 likes on a you know 147,000 sub channel and it has two thousand five hundred dislikes there's a bit of a ratio going on there i'd say <laughs> a slight a slight fucking ratio taking place on uh, this particular channel a little bit just a little just a little bit uh paulo costa says nobody agrees with you on this matthew delete uh, doom marine 007 says the olympics is about physical ability running jumping lifting throwing all those things you can't do you know uh, the watcher says, "Leave YouTube, no one likes you." <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, for, they're just going hard on his ass, aren't they? Shit. It, it's bad. Uh, first, last is thumbs down. Terrible video. <laughs> oh God. Uh, PS2 was pretty good. Says, "Why don't you stop shitting out videos with less effort than Dark Side Phil? Because you're too lazy to get a real job and go supervise your kid while she picks rocks." You make four hundred dollars a rock, so what's your problem? <laughs> <laughs> oh god! Oh, can you can you can you switch it to most recent comments and let's see what the okay. most recent takes on this beautiful video are? Okay, let's see. The most recent take is fifty minutes ago. Mandalore the angry says, "We won't forget. We won't forgive." <laughs> uh, another comment says, "Boo." Another comment says, "Monday, Matt re." Uh, Theodora says, might buy a merch mug as an example of what not to be. Clothing, heck no, techno. Another one says, I wonder where Matt's hiding. Uh, the next one says, so what's happened to this dude? Uh, this one says, 147k LML. The other one says, just simply give up. <laughs> <laughs> Just give up. Oh God. Now, there's there's several comments about uh, it had been four days. I guess it'd been four days since he put that up or whatever between that and the one he did today. Uh, another one, and this is something that I tweeted out that Keemstar retweeted. Horse porn, dude. It's okay to love your pets. You just can't love your pets. And that was the tweet where he was uh, talking about masturbating to My Little Pony. 
Oh, it's still going. Do you remember on that stream when Matt, uh, after he showed us everything, and he's like, I'm going to get shit for this for a little while. I think we're past a little while at this point. I don't know. I mean, these people seem committed to just shitting on him on every video. It's been like two weeks. Well, it's been more than that. It's been more. It's been a full month. It's It's been a month <laughs> since this it's happened. Literally, it's literally been a full. So August 9th was the day of the stream and it's been a full month here, here goes a tweet that i retweeted earlier this is still up on his twitter he says look i like the show my little pony but i wouldn't buy a twilight sparkle plushie put a flashlight in it and fuck it that was uh one of his old classics oh, i there. wish i could have put that and contrasted it with the uh masturbating to my little pony thing <laughs> oh. I didn't see that till this morning. So that, see, he's he's me. kind of fucked, right? He's in one of those positions where he has eighty three thousand tweets or some shit, and he's got like four thousand plus videos. So it's gonna take him a while to kind of hunt down the stuff that's embarrassing. So it's still kind of open season to archive some shit. Honestly, he should probably just clear the whole thing. <laughs> I don't even know why why he keeps it up. Uh, and he clearly he tried to do something. So there's third party apps that can clear your Twitter. But a lot of times what it'll do is overload the API and it just ends up freezing your Twitter. So that happened to him a couple of days ago. And I don't even think it, he did delete two or 3000, but, but he didn't get, he didn't get them all. Let's put it that way. Encyclopedia Dramatica put it best. Delete fucking everything. A couple more comments. Gator, are we ready for calls by the way? Yes, we are. All right, uh, a couple more comments. First, last says, thumbs down, terrible video. The watcher says, leave YouTube, dude. No one likes you. Beetle, Beetle Puss says, you are garbage. Ben oh, Stone, God, man. <laughs> ben Stone with 133 likes, by the way, says, stop doing YouTube. So, yeah, it's, it's not I, th I think on. they're trying to tell him something. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> All right, let's, let's try to take a few calls. Uh, so, we're ready. That's what you said, Gator. Yep, good to go. All right, let me let me try this. Let me try to bring somebody in. Please be good callers. Please, please be good callers. We'll see how this goes. Um, uh, I'm kind of boss. I can't take that person first. That that would be my natural inclination. Uh, but uh, Chameleon, you're on the air live on the kill stream. But you're not speaking. We'll try again. Retrosburg, you're on the air live on the kill stream. Is it set up correctly, Gator? Oh, there there goes Boomer Ralph with his VCR no, flash. No, oh, not... <laughs> All right. Uh, no, I know you're not talking shit. I've seen your streams, Jim. You, you have some problems there as well. I use the glories of Skype. So, <laughs> you know, this isn't really the problems I'm encountering. <laughs> All right, let's... Uh... Are they there? Oh, uh, that sounded like something, but not a voice. So you'll have to leave. Now let's try somebody else. Might not. This might not work. We'll see. It usually works though. Jordan McArdle, you're on the air live on the kill stream. Theoretically, you are. <laughs> Theoretically, now I'm here, baby. All right, you're Hello? here. Yes, you're here. Go ahead. Oh, can y'all hear me? Yes. I ordered. Yeah, I was just making sure I wasn't the only guy. Uh, real tired, by the way. Yeah, don't bring me on first. But uh, appreciate everything. Uh, Zidane, listen to your live stream for the first time the other day with the Obama speech. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, actually enjoyed it. Well oh, done. Uh, All right, he, do you have a question for the guest? Just quiet. Yes, go ahead. I, I don't really have a question. Just call in and say what up. Thanks for the cute comment, Jordan. No. All right, thank you. Um, Sorry, I had to. I had to sunset him early, even though he's a Todd fan. I had to sunset him. <laughs> All right, uh, Johnny X Two, you're on the air live on the kill stream. Hey, how's it going? Uh, Go I, I was gonna. I was gonna tell you about. Hang on, let me fucking turn off the stream. That's a good idea. Yeah. All right. Uh. So what I was wondering from Jim, uh, how have you been feeling about the whole uh, Terry A. Davis situation? Uh, yeah, like I mentioned on the stream yesterday, it said that uh, he passed away. I, I wasn't 100% sure if it was legit or if people were just fucking around. But then, you know, confirmation came from the police department. And I think a reporter, too, down in the area confirmed it, that he was the one that uh, 
uh, died via train. So uh, it, it sucks. Wait, he got hit by a train. That's what I understood. Am I off on this, Ralph? Or was no, that's what, the, I, that's no, what I understand. Because well. no, no, yeah. I haven't seen a, a report on his death. I've only seen like the Facebook post. Yeah, so... Uh, there, there are some reports out there. Wild Goose um, put it out on Twitter. There, there are some reports, yeah. Man, that sucks, man. He also, have you heard of... He actually the, contacted the police, and they confirmed it, so yeah. I gotcha. No, that, is, that sucks, man. You got... Fucking death by train, man. That's, that's fucked up. Yeah, it does suck. But, uh, uh, I was going to say, have you heard of the... Um, it, was, it was about, like, fat women for right-wing politics or some shit. I don't remember the photo. It it had something to do with, like, fat women rallying against uh, the alt-right or some shit. Uh, no, I hadn't heard that. Have you seen that picture, Jim? <laughs> uh, no, no, I haven't seen that picture. But, you know, well, fat women against right-wingers, wouldn't that just be called leftists? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I mean, I think so. um, well, I mean, you can take me off right now since I have really nothing. Uh, okay. I will say check streamlabs before uh, you finish because I've sent you a few. But okay. um, I will, I, I will sure. find a photo and I'll send it to Sedan so you can see it, Jim. All right, thank okay. you. Okay, sounds good. Thank you very much. All right, let's try. Uh, be me having a seizure. You're live on the air on the kill stream. Hey, what's going on, man? What's up? Hey, uh, so just uh, real quick, uh, I sent you some stuff on Discord, a video and some some uh, some memes. Zidane, I also sent you some shit on Bunty. Uh, and then I, I wanted to say, you know, I think I think Jim's right on the whole uh, Matt situation. You know, he he's been in these situations before where, you know, he's a part of it, but claims to have no part of it. And, you know, he tweets out fucking pictures of him holding knives. So the evidence is clearly there. Uh, yeah, I have seen that photo where he's holding a knife yeah, to his face. Holding a fucking knife. <laughs> yeah, yeah. so that. it's not like he doesn't have a history with it. But uh, uh, yeah, I also think Bunty, Bunty King is impotent, uh, and that's why he eats the pussy, because he can't get a fucking boner. Or he has a microcock. Um, and the last thing I wanted to say is, uh, Jim, how you doing, buddy? Uh, doing fine. I'll make sure to put up a poll for the next stream. On uh, what what we think is the secret issue of Bunty King is it impotence, a small penis, or is he like CRP said, gay? Gay. Yeah, I was about to say that, that was the theory. Well, I, I mean, gay is obvious, right? But uh, you know, I think the other one. And then, uh, yeah, Jim, I just want to say, man, uh, you're 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 a fat nigger. Well, thank you very much, God. <laughs> thank you. Appreciate it. <laughs> uh, appreciate the call. Uh, let's try Ghost of Caligula. You're live on the air on the kill stream. Hello, hello, how are you? How are you? I'm doing good. How are you? Uh, I'm fine. Uh, talking about deeping the lore there. Um, remember something, something about mundane Matt sleeping in the same room while the crazy lady was going on with Vern? Yeah, remember that? The story was that mundane Matt was in the room while I think it was alleged that Nick was fucking crazy hair. Or no, Nick was fucking based mama. Wasn't that the story? And Matt was oh, yeah, masturbating under the Matt yeah. was masturbating under the covers in the same room. <laughs> that's, the story, that's the story, by the way, that I've heard from two people that attended VidCon. So I don't know if they're just having some fun or if there's some truth to that. I've never really dived deep into yeah. it because how do you do that? VidCon is uh, generous well, as fuck, isn't it? Yeah, in general, it's pretty degenerate, but I, I like it. Uh, it's deep in the lore and coming back uh, with a nice bow tie on the cock thing with the Bunty King. So, yeah, there's that. Um, Jim, I, I would ask you, Sandra Lee is still working for the Food Network, dude. What the fuck are you doing? Uh, yeah, I, I talked about her like eight, nine years ago. I haven't paid attention to her since. I figured she'd die of like kidney failure or something from all the booze by this point. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that bitch would be dead a long time ago. Uh, she's still she's still working for them. How the fuck can you keep a job and don't know how to cook for so long? Huh? Yeah, that Kwanzaa cake was fucking awful looking. I don't know. I, I, I'd probably eat out a lot if I was married to her. All right. Thank you, Kaliga, for calling in, man. I appreciate it. Uh, no problem. You, sir, have a nice night. Uh, all of you. Thank you, you too. Yep, take uh, it easy. Let's try it. Odin, 
This can't be. This can't be the actual Odin. It can't be. It can't be real. Odin, you're on the air on the kill stream. Oh, wow. He, he left very quickly. And he left. Forgot his boulders. Be right back. <laughs> uh, Danielle, you're on the air on the kill stream. Hey, hello. Can you hear me? Yes. Oh, nice, nice. Uh, how are you guys doing? I'm doing good. How are you doing? Oh, amazing, amazing. The, the last few days are just pure entertainment, man. And I just want to say one thing. If uh, Jim wants to make this as a weekly thing, these guys are going to shit their pants, man. They, they already are, like, uh, making discords, making servers, uh, probably going to flog everything. So if you guys are going to dig into this, you guys are going to have some major fun. I, I think it'll be fine. I'll wear a suit, so I'll blend in. And I'll, wait <laughs> <their own. laughs> I'll be one of them, and they'll allow me to continue on in peace, I'm pretty sure. Um, well, that's, that's just everything. Uh, it's nice to have you guys uh, making this podcast. I, I always enjoy it. Good Thank work. You. Thank you very much, man. You have a good one. Bye. By the way, somebody linked me a video here in Discord. It says, in this video, Monday, Matt actually says his friend fucked his girlfriend who was a stripper and a meth head. Okay. See, we've... Okay, that's beautiful. Should we watch that? I th- no I mean, way. Are you I serious? Think we should watch it, yeah. It says, go to 240. Uh, let me... Uh, okay. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to need to sync this up. Can you... Can you... Yeah, I'm going to send you the link, yeah. Yeah. Holy shit. <laughs> Here's the link. Uh, on They're Patreon. All cucks. Okay, yeah, well, give me one second to pull this up because yeah. uh, I, I have to watch uh, a stripper meth head that cucked him. <laughs> yeah, I'm yeah, not that's, passing That's what that I'm up, told. So. You know, I haven't seen this video personally, but uh, that's that's exactly what I've been told, yes. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> you know, like, it doesn't end, right? <laughs> nope. And this is, I wonder if he's oh, going to take it you know, can, can I, I just say, this, oh, like, yeah, can I just say, man, like, if all this shit had come out during Gamergate. Oh, God. Oh, you never would have heard the end of it. <laughs> Zoe Quinn and Brianna Wu and Anita would have been like, look at these fucking cucks. Fucking meth heads getting cucked left and right, holding people at knife point. <laughs> oh. <laughs> they would have had a field day, honestly. And uh, I can say honestly, I wouldn't blame them either. Um, l- let's go to two forty. That's that's where he said start at two forty. So I'll go ahead and oh, take it there okay. myself. Let me just. Uh, get and by the way, I just downloaded a copy of this uh, just in case. You know, just in case. Uh, can you drop us a link too? Uh, oh yeah, should, I mean it's in the Discord, but uh, yeah, I'll go ahead and put it in the uh, chat as well. The video is titled. Uh, can I say the title? You downloaded it, right? Yeah, I got it downloaded. Yeah. Right, okay, friends <laughs> growing up, growing apart, and coming back together. <laughs> Well, apparently, I guess somebody was coming together, but it didn't involve Matt, just his girlfriend and somebody else. Yeah, there's the video. Um, I'm at 240. I don't know where you gentlemen are at, but... Uh, yep. just let I am ready voice. to go for this. Yeah, same. All right, you ready, Gator? Absolutely. This oh, is going to be great. Shit. All right, let's hit it right now. Back of the clones? Yeah, well, I had a bootleg copy of that from fucking China eight weeks ago, motherfucker. And you're like, no, you didn't, because I gave you your bootleg copy. And like, nah, 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 I had a, I had another copy. It was even worse, you know, than the one you gave me. But I saw it before you. And those kind of guys they are and shit. And then you get my other friends that are like the guy who got the fucking three DUIs and shit. And then you got the other guy, the 32-year-old, the one who fucking knew I liked the stripper that I was dating. Uh, and then she still fooled around with him and and everything that night that we met because we had devised the plan to get her, okay, her pause, like pause, pause. Yeah, yeah, yeah. fucked yeah, yeah, give me, up. Give me a second. Okay, I'm paused at 3.23. Okay. So his friend, his older friend, banged the hooker, or I'm sorry, the stripper Same that way. he liked but was in a relationship with on the mm-hmm. night he met her. So am I to understand that Mundane Matt went into a strip club, put 30 bucks in some chick's pussy, and was like, I love you. And she's like, I love you too, baby. And when he went to turn around to buy like a drink, his friends started just fucking her on stage. Like, that's a visualization that I have going right now. Am I off on that? <laughs> it sounds I'm a cock. Right to me. <laughs> I'm a fucking cock, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. 
What is with this fucking community? <laughs> Jeez, oh they're God. all cucks, every single one. <laughs> well, it's starting to seem like a theme, isn't it? Like, have we? It's getting a little bit weird, right? Like, it's three now. That's three of them. <sighs> it is. I'm, it is I'm sorry uh, to interrupt, but okay, I just wanted to get okay. the, the history of that shit down. I'm at 320. Where are we starting from? Okay, look, I'll go back to 320 here. Uh, 320. Okay, I'm at 320. Are you gentlemen oh, prepared? Mm-hmm. I'm ready to go when you guys are. All right, ready to go. go right now to get her to like me but it was fucked up and that's a story i don't necessarily want to go into because i will look like a complete fucking dis- dipshit which in that Too particular like that. situation nine years ago i was an absolute dipshit and oh my god that fucking stripper oh my god the joke i made in another video about the chick on methamphetamines that's not a joke she was really high on methamphetamines most of the time we were together, and I had no idea. Are we going to get a date rape story out of this? <laughs> with the knife? something, I, whatever the fuck I said is not true, but the being on meth and being a stripper was absolutely true. Uh, anyway, so we, we meet up and whatnot, and we start reminiscing. And you know how it is, you reminisce with your friends, you talk about shit, and you realize, like, you start asking yourself, like, why the fuck do I like these people? Like, I don't hang out with them now, but we get together for a special event. Like, but back in the day, man, we fucking hung out all the time. We'd go out to, like, the dirt field and party it up. We'd paintball. The dirt field with my meth whore. <laughs> let, me, let, let me pause it. Let me pause it at 418. I see a comment. Uh, Jack Orlov is the one who who dug this up. He says, in the video, Matt also admits to being kicked off high school properties twice as an adult. Okay, you know what? The next stream I do is a Monday Matt special. Find the shit that you can find on Monday Matt, and we're we're going full fucking tilt on this, folks. There's so right. much out there. This dude f- is talking about getting cucked and hanging out with meth whores in dirt fields, and we haven't even got to the best part yet. So from the dirt fields to the quarry. Oh, oh my God! I'm sorry. All right, where are we? Four eighteen. Four eighteen. Yes. Okay. Are you there? Yeah, I'm good to go. All right, let's go right now. We'd fucking go shoot pellet guns at, you know, at crap. We'd go see movies. We'd go hang out, you know, at fucking, like, drive-ins. We'd fucking, like, go race our cars. Actually, two of those buddies tonight were people that were with us when we got fucking, got a uh, a racing ticket back during the whole fucking Fast and Furious craze from 2001. You know, that cost my friend $1,300 in an impound fees, not to mention $3,000 in court and legal fees on top of that for racing for fucking 30 feet i'm not even kidding you but the three of us were there that night and we all went through the same shit so we have all that background story and whatnot but now like one of them the guy with duis is married and he married a woman who had three kids from another guy a deadbeat douchebag Ooh. asshole who we all knew from high school More but we don't ever fucking talk about <laughs> because he's a glorified ravenous maggot fested cocksucker right but Just then they had another kid together so he's like the dad of four girls and he constantly bitches about his life constantly says I fucking hate my life, right? And you're like, well, then why the fuck did you marry a woman who fucking had three kids? You know what you're getting yourself into, dumbass. You can't fucking complain, right? And then you got like the other buddy who's an overworker who works constantly, but he has all the coolest toys and shit. Then you've got the fucking failed musician, 32 year old that still lives with his mom, you know, after like, but his girlfriend's pretty cool, I guess. You know, and he's like, oh, I work on fucking whatever. Then you've got the younger brother, the younger brother who's engaged and his girlfriend is like blowing him off and everything. And so instead of coming out to hang out with us during the bachelor party, she blows him off. So he takes his Galaxy S3 and he fucking like throws it at a fucking street sign and he shatters the goddamn thing. Then he beats on the street sign until his fucking hand is fucking totally (laughs) fucking swollen and shit. And then they decide, because the bar was closing and it's time for us to go, that they want to go get a hotel, right? They all want to go get a motherfucking hotel. And I'm like, look, I don't really feel like getting a hotel, guys. I don't have no fucking money. And they're like, no, 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 no. Okay, fine. But someone needs to take home the younger brother. And he's living not far from where I'm staying. So I'm like, all right, I'll give him a lift and shit. That's perfectly fucking fine. And I go give him a lift, and then I realize I've been drinking. I really should not be driving without food in my system. But this kid's like, you know, if he gets angry, he might, like, break my window in my car because like, he's kind of unstable like that. And now I'm tasked with taking him the fuck home so he doesn't get arrested or, you know, can go to the hospital get his hand fixed and shit. And this is just, like, a fucking average day in the life of my fucking friends. And it's and I don't even really hang out with these people very often anymore. But when we get together, when we get together, dumb shit always happens. And that's part of growing up, right? You grow up and you do dumb shit. 
Then you realize that it's dumb shit, so you grow apart from that dumb shit. Then you all move on with your fucking normal life, and then on rare occasions, birthdays, bachelor parties, weddings, funerals, what the fuck ever, you all get back together, and you all go and you reminisce about the old days, and what fucking happens? Chaos happens, because you know what? There's always one fucking person, one weak link who's a fucking powder keg, and they do something stupid, or they suggest something stupid, or they tell you that, hey, it's a wise idea to climb the scaffolding of this fucking, you know, high school at three o'clock in the morning. No mm. one's ever going to be there. Right. Right. That. Yeah. OK. Well, fun story about that is the 32 year old. This is like fucking, I don't know, oh, five, maybe him and I were out. Uh, we were hanging out at the bar. I think we went to go to Titty Bar. We fucking bounced back to his pad. I was dropping him off his pad because uh, I live like 25 miles away. And then he's like, hey, let's go for uh, let's go for a walk. Let's check out the high school and shit. Let's go climb the scaffolding at the high school. It is like a block away from the high school. I'm like, dude, I really want to go fucking climb high school shit with you. All right. I've already been chased out of this high school once by cops. Back in 2001, I was 19. We were breaking into some shit. <laughs> fucking ended what? up stealing World wait, War wait, 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 wait. I that fucking video. No, wait. Let, let's, let's go back. Let, let's go back to, I guess, eight minutes. Just to, just to get a little flavor there. First oh, off, shit, why is he hanging right. around high schools? Uh, okay, so, okay, so, <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> All right. So, <laughs> mundane Matt is driving around town drunk with his meth whore going to the dirt field, and on the way they decide let's break into some shit because that's what 32 year olds do. Apparently, I don't know. How how old was he? He was just if a kid. Was, he was just if a this kid. was well, he, oh man, wow. <laughs> <laughs> this is starting to make those VidCon stories I heard about all the wild orgies <sighs> and coke parties sound more realistic. I'm gonna be honest with you. Uh, all right, I'm at a, I'm at eight minutes. We, we had to go back and, and hear that again. Uh, yeah, let's go back and hear that <laughs> one more insane. time. All right, eight minutes. I'm gonna start it right now. It is like a block away from the high school. I'm like, dude, I really want to go fucking climb high school shit with you. All right, I've already been chased out of this high school once by cops back in 2001. I was 19. We were mm. breaking into some shit. Fucking ended up stealing World War II medical supplies. What? I'm good. And he's like, all right, all right, let's just go. So he fucking, I go with him and whatnot, and he fucking walks up, right? And he walks up, and he climbs the scaffolding to, like, the third floor of the high school, walks around the construction shit, comes back down, and he's like, you got to see this. And so we go into the courtyard, right? Well, keep in mind, this is around the time, end of the school year. So fucking school year's over and shit. Fucking school year's done. What happens? Senior prank time. Right. Well, we happened to walk right into the middle of a senior prank, like right after it happened. These kids had gone through and they had like the quad and shit. They had like fucking dumped teepee, pe toilet paper and paper towels and they trashed the joint. And they left like rotted fish all over the place. Right. And then I'm like, I'm like, dude, let's get the fuck out of here because if the cops come, we're going to be blamed for this shit. Even though we're just trespassing, we're not trying to vandalize anything. You know, and he's like, oh, it's, yeah, probably a good idea and whatnot, you know. And of course, as we fucking were walking away, dude, fucking two cops rolled up to go check out the fucking school. And we're like, all right, all right. I'm like, I'm getting the fuck out of Dodge. I'm getting the fuck out of here. Fuck you. Fuck this. Fuck that. Fuck them. Fuck all this shit. I'm out. I don't want to get busted again. I don't want to get busted with this guy again. I don't want to deal with that crap again. I don't want to be the one he again. calls when he puts again. his hands through <laughs> yeah. the double reinforced plate glass window because he's drunk and he's on a dare. I don't want to be the one he calls when his girlfriend dumps him and he goes to her fucking dad's house where she's living and he takes a shit on the hood of her dad's car, like in the fucking groove where the, the vents are and whatnot what? to get the shit right in the middle of the fucking truck and then all that crap. You know, because she knows I associate with him and I live around the corner from the and so I'm like in the middle of this crap. And this is the weird thing because you look back on it now, I look back on it and I'm like, yeah, it was kind of fun times. And of course I'm bitching about it on a video to you guys and you guys have no investment in any of this crap, but I'm just ranting and venting about fucking friends because that's part of it. You, you, you spend all that time together doing your dumb, stupid shit. And then if you grow apart from that dumb, stupid shit, when you come back together, that stunt, that dumb, stupid shit ends up coming back up again and of course the wedding's not until sunday morning and right now it's one o'clock in the morning friday night and we're supposed to get together again tomorrow night to go do some shit and i am not joking when i say this friends i'm actually afraid of what might happen because every other bachelor party shit we've done for the friends of us that have gotten married has ended with stupid shit happening and i'm too old too broke and don't fucking care enough to go down that path yet again but 
But let me make a video about it. If I was there and shit came up, I'd be like, my life's been kind of boring. Let's make it interesting. Okay, fine. Fuck it. Now I'm in jail. Uh, so I'll let you guys know what happens uh, and everything the next time. But I mean, if you have friends like that, you guys know what I'm talking about. You have friends. You fucking, you guys get together. You, you know, you, 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 I don't know how old you guys are. I don't know how, how, what your guys' experiences are. My friends are dumb and they're even dumber when they drink. But I fucking love them to death. And I'd probably do anything for them because they've been with me through my shit. I've been with them through their shit. And here it is 10 years later, fucking not even that 13, 14 years later for a few of them, 10 years for the 32 year old. And here we are going to a bar and getting shit faced while making fun of the college kids around us because we're old, bitter, cynical men in our thirties or close to, but yeah, anyway. I just wanted to get that off my chest and make a whole fucking thing about this. I'm going to go eat something before I vomit. Uh, and this, I'm glad that I'm back home where I will not be getting a DUI uh, because I was fortunate enough to not encounter any of the city's finest tonight. And in case you are a cop wondering, I was not driving while intoxicated. I probably would blow about a .05, but I hadn't had any dinner. So the one, well, more than one, the couple beers I had, kind of I, mean, I wasn't drunk but i wasn't i wasn't perfect yeah, either yeah we got anyway it. my name is monday and matt you guys can find me monday and matt.tumblr.com twitter.com okay, slash the monday yeah uh, I, I think that's it I yeah, think yeah. That's, uh, so to recap uh he got cucked by his friend uh hangs out with meth whores at dirt fields <laughs> and uh breaks into people's property after he goes around drunk driving nice nice story time matt <laughs> He had literally just gotten back from from drunk driving too. You can hear it in his voice. He's like, "Yeah, fuck those guys." Ah. Why yeah, cool make this video? You know, I think that's a question we're all going to be asking ourselves as we start to dig through these people's videos and their social media accounts. Is why would they feel the need to share these things? What possesses you to be like, "Yeah, man, I drove drunk home and I got cucked. Uh, my my meth head girlfriend cucked me. Yeah, she was a stripper." So I don't know if she actually liked me, but I paid her well. I guess his credit card was denied. She had to find another boyfriend. <laughs> oh, God. He ended up going home, giving a, giving a blowjob to his best friend, whose retarded autistic brother, Matt, ended up driving home while also drunk. You know, the interesting thing is that video has, like, what, 700 views on it? Yeah, I think I, 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 there must be hundreds of these. There must be hundreds of these these kinds of quality story times with Matt that are just nobody watched. Now, somebody just told me he had 5,000 videos yesterday and then it went down to 4,800. Now it's at, you know, around 4,700. So, uh, to all the people out there, download first <laughs> before, before you start, uh, promoting these, because, uh, uh, I think he's going through and trying to get rid of them quickly. No, oh. may I recommend to people you can download Python and Python now comes with this thing called PIP, which allows you to instantly download pretty much any Python script. I recommend Streamlink and YouTube-DL. So whenever you find a Monday and Mad video, use Streamlink to download the video. There's plenty of free services that'll let you download YouTube videos, but always archive it because we want to see this shit before Matt gets a chance to delete it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> and by the way, yes, Doppelganger, I do read the chat while the stream is going throwing that out there but uh <laughs> oh, yeah i'm gonna have fun I'm, I'm gonna have some fucking fun for the next couple of weeks with this shit so we can say sunday you're gonna be back with another i don't know what day i'm gonna do it but uh, I've, I, I've i've already got two two uh, uh prime prime <laughs> uh suspects let's put it that way uh one of them will be matt the other i will leave as a surprise mm. but um yeah uh oof and I'll probably do a little more digging into shit, right? Like, you know, probably, I, because I think, you know, you're right. That $10,000 story doesn't get talked about enough. Um, and that probably needs to be focused on a little bit more. It's a lot of money. Now, here's just the, disappear into the ether. By the way, there's videos. This, this can't be. It's, it's Matt shitting on a kid. What, 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 Literally or figuratively? <laughs> we have to ask that question. Who is Cower Caden Cowger? I don't know who that is. A message to the coward Caden Cowger. Uh, I don't know. I'll, I'll send it. 
<laughs> Send it to you, Jim. But uh, I guess people are going through his shit in real time right now. And uh, oh, let, let me pull it up. It does appear to be a uh, a young kid. Dear 14-year-old, like dear 14-year-old Caden Cowger, this message is for you. I hope you enjoy your 15 minutes of fame for one stupid nonsensical rant about gay people because this is about the only recognition you'll get. Oh, I, I know what this is. This. Have you seen yeah, this? Yeah, I know what this is. Yeah, this is a conservative kid that did uh, uh, take on a couple of things. The Young Turks sent Uger one after him, too. I, I remember this from, yeah, I remember this from back in the day. Yeah, I, I think this is the one. Uh, Uger did a whole fucking video on it uh, and wanted to go to war with him for like two or three weeks. Um, but yeah, I, I'd love to stay and watch more. I, I yeah, didn't have yeah, that much cool. time, so I, I'm going to jump. I appreciate um, it. But holy shit. Yeah, that was fantastic. I'm glad I was around for that uh, that fucking story time <laughs> with that. Thank you, Jim. I look forward to your stream this weekend. Yeah, take it easy, guys. Have a good one. Later.